Unusual Characteristics of Individuals with CPTSD Following Narcissistic Abuse Hey there, welcome back to our channel. With mental health concerns becoming increasingly prevalent, we're committed to providing more valuable content to support you on your journey. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, Narcissistic Abuse and Complex Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, CPTSD. Have you ever heard of CPTSD? It's a condition that arises when someone experiences or witnesses traumatic events, such as narcissistic abuse. If you suspect that you or someone you know may be dealing with CPTSD and want to learn more, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be discussing five unusual signs that could indicate CPTSD. So, if you're ready to gain a deeper understanding of this condition and discover if it might be affecting you or a loved one, stick around. And don't forget to hit that like button if you find this content helpful, subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos, and share this video with anyone who might benefit. Let's jump right in. Number 1. Persistent Trauma Symptoms Persistent trauma symptoms can manifest as heightened emotions and stress triggered by past traumas, even long after the events have transpired. While it's normal for stress to linger for a period following a traumatic experience, individuals with CPTSD often find that these feelings persist and resurface with greater frequency. It's as if the memories of the trauma persistently haunt them, evoking feelings of nervousness, fear, or unease, even years later. This prolonged emotional distress can be attributed to the severity of the trauma or its repetitive nature. For example, imagine enduring narcissistic abuse several years ago. Initially, you may have felt shaken by the experience, but over time, these feelings would typically diminish. However, individuals grappling with CPTSD due to such abuse might find themselves perpetually on edge, particularly when faced with situations reminiscent of the trauma. They may harbor a constant fear of encountering similar abusive scenarios, leading to persistent anxiety and stress that refuse to dissipate. This enduring sense of unease, long after the abuse has ceased, could signal the presence of CPTSD rather than conventional PTSD. Number 2. Emotional Instability Managing emotions becomes a daunting task as they fluctuate unpredictably, indicating potential signs of CPTSD. While experiencing emotional turbulence is common after trauma, individuals with CPTSD often find it particularly challenging to regulate their feelings due to the prolonged or repeated nature of their trauma. Unlike the relatively short-lived emotional effects associated with traditional PTSD, those with CPTSD may grapple with more intense and enduring emotional distress. This can manifest as difficulty controlling emotions, with feelings erupting unexpectedly and overwhelming the individual. For instance, consider someone who has endured narcissistic abuse in the past, enduring manipulation, gaslighting, and emotional torment from a narcissistic individual. In situations reminiscent of their past trauma, individuals with CPTSD may find themselves reacting with heightened frustration or experiencing uncontrollable bouts of tears. It's as though the emotional wounds inflicted by the abuse persist, spilling over into everyday life and disrupting their ability to manage their responses effectively. This emotional instability serves as a potential indicator of CPTSD, highlighting the profound and lasting impact of past traumas on an individual's well-being. Number 3. Dissociative Episodes Dissociation emerges as a notable symptom, highlighting potential indicators of CPTSD. Dissociation involves a mental process wherein individuals detach from their thoughts, emotions, memories, or even their sense of identity. This coping mechanism often surfaces in response to overwhelming emotions or traumatic experiences, serving as a means to temporarily distance oneself from distressing stimuli. Consider a scenario where you're engaged in conversation with friends, reminiscing about past experiences of narcissistic abuse. As you delve into the painful memories, you feel a surge of fear and anxiety engulfing you. Instead of confronting these overwhelming emotions head-on, you may suddenly experience a dissociative episode, feeling disconnected from the conversation and even from your own sense of self. Dissociation manifests as a state of mental disengagement, 
wherein individuals may feel as though they are observing themselves from a distance or as if they are not fully present in the moment. These episodes serve as a protective mechanism, shielding individuals from immediate distress. However, they also hinder their ability to process and address the underlying trauma effectively, perpetuating a cycle of emotional avoidance and detachment. Sign number four, physical reactivity to trauma triggers. A notable indicator of CPTSD is the manifestation of physical symptoms when reminded of past trauma. The intricate connection between the mind and body becomes evident as individuals experience distressing physical reactions merely by recalling traumatic events. Our brains retain memories of past trauma in profound ways, often leading to somatic responses when these memories are triggered. These physical reactions can range from nausea and dizziness to stomach pain, underscoring the profound impact of trauma on both the psyche and the body. Such reactions are particularly pronounced in cases of CPTSD, where the trauma is deeply ingrained in one's mind and physiology. Consider a scenario where you're undergoing therapy to address experiences of narcissistic abuse. Despite being in a secure environment and discussing past events, the mere act of recounting the traumatic incidents can evoke intense physical responses. Your heart may race, your stomach may churn with anxiety, and feelings of dizziness or nausea may overwhelm you. These bodily reactions serve as poignant reminders of the lasting impact of narcissistic abuse, highlighting the intricate interplay between psychological and physiological processes in trauma response. Sign number five, extreme avoidance of trauma triggers. A hallmark feature of TAPST is the propensity to go to great lengths to avoid anything that triggers memories of past trauma, particularly experiences of narcissistic abuse. While it's natural to seek avoidance of reminders of traumatic events, individuals with CPTSD may exhibit extreme behaviors in this regard, significantly impacting their daily lives and interpersonal relationships. Imagine finding yourself meticulously avoiding certain places or situations that evoke memories of past experiences with narcissistic abuse. This avoidance behavior can extend to great lengths, disrupting daily routines and hindering opportunities for growth and connection. For example, if you were in a relationship with a narcissistic partner who subjected you to constant belittlement and control, you might develop a profound fear of intimacy and closeness. As a result, you may actively avoid forming new relationships or engaging in situations that involve vulnerability, opting instead for isolation as a means of self-protection. This relentless avoidance can perpetuate a cycle of fear and emotional paralysis, preventing individuals from moving forward and healing from the trauma of the abusive relationship. Recognizing and addressing these avoidance patterns is crucial in navigating the journey toward recovery and reclaiming a sense of agency and empowerment. Thank you for joining us today as we explored five unusual signs that could indicate complex post-traumatic stress disorder, CPTSD, particularly in the context of narcissistic abuse. Understanding these signs can be crucial for recognizing and addressing the lasting effects of trauma on mental health. If you found this discussion insightful or helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content like this. Your support helps us continue to create resources to empower and support our community. We also love hearing from you, so be sure to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and experiences. Have you or someone you know experienced CPTSD? What signs have you noticed, and how have you navigated the journey toward healing? Your insights could be incredibly valuable to others who may be facing similar challenges. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with anyone who might benefit from learning more about CPTSD and narcissistic abuse. Together, we can raise awareness and support one another in overcoming trauma and reclaiming our well-being. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, take care and prioritize your mental health.